Let's get right into what I have here from good old Harbor Freight. Today is Mobile Suit Miss Day 6. I can't believe we've gotten this far. It's going to be a fun little one as I get ready for this week. We are going to bring back uh, what I consider kind of a famous kit <laughs> at this point, at least for this channel. I'm going to show you guys the Exia that I started all those years ago. I have one video that for some reason, it makes me so embarrassed, it has like 30,000 views, a little bit over it here. I'll input it right here. It's it's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Uh, I made it quite a few years ago before I really had any kind of good grasp on how to film anything. We are going to be getting ready to paint and show you some more painting tutorials and start a project that I have left unattended for way too long. Uh, the XEO was originally intended to be a test kit um, one that I purposely messed up on to be able to create YouTube videos for people because that's like my main intent is to help people in the in this hobby. Um, but it's been sitting undone for too long with a couple of little boo-boos on it and everything like that. And I got a couple of things from Harbor Freight that will help me prepare for what I'm gonna be doing this week. So we're gonna go over these things that you can get from Harbor Freight that will help you in the hobby, specifically for painting. And I'm gonna show you some of the things that we're getting. So let's get right into the video. Okay, uh, it's like a little haul. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to do a haul video. Harbor Freight Tools is one of my favorite places to go ever. I have always loved tools, machinery, everything like that. That's literally exactly why I probably got into this hobby so much. Sci-fi, robots, machinery, everything, oh my gosh. The fact that you need to use tools, painting, all of it, appeals to everything for me. Harbor Freight is just one of those places that I like to go to even if I have no reason to, <laughs> just to get something and bonus points for how cheap it is. I hope you guys have a Harbor Freight near you. If not, hopefully you can find something that's, that's comparable. It's like discount tools, but like, it's not like the best quality tools, but for our hobby, it's got some things in it that I don't know, like it's better than most hobby stores. So let's get right into it. I'm going to be putting some footage in from my painting room. If you guys have been on this channel for a while, you know that I have a giant hot tub <laughs> in the middle of my hobby room. The hot tub has not been removed yet, so the hot tub is still there and no progress has been made on that hobby room at all. But I got it organized a little bit better, so it's, it's functional. My dreams for that room is to be my paint room because my office is right here and here's hot tub room. So if I could mesh them together and have my little room here and then my painting room, it would be a dream for me. Like childhood Skylar would be just like, wow. First things first, uh, I am somebody who uses way too many paper towels, so. <laughs> Good old shop towels is what I got for clearing off paint and things off of the paintbrush. It is a 50 pack, so no more wasting money on paper towels. Now, oh look, ah, yeah, that's for Warhammer. <laughs> this is for Warhammer, it's like a good tape measure. If you're in Warhammer, you know why I need a tape measure. All right, so this is the biggest thing and the thing that I want to let you guys know the most about is a airbrush cleaning bottle. Now, why I'm excited about this one is it literally was, I think, on sale for $7.99. Now, it's very small and it's glass, as I'm gonna show you here soon. Um, basically, any one that I've seen anywhere else literally is $20 up, and it's literally just a thing that you spray your paint into, so I just don't see why it needs to be that expensive. So, it's good to get one of these little guys. I will show you guys how to use it in the footage that I'm gonna put on screen right now. But, literally is just gonna be a container to put your airbrush nozzle into right here, and then you're just gonna have your excess paint and everything like that as you're cleaning, and then you just open it and get rid of it. It's literally just a container to put your excess paint into and you're cleaning, and when you clean out your your airbrush and everything like that. It comes with little filters, as you can see here. And we're gonna put her together. But most airbrush cleaners are like little plastic and they're kind of hard to see. 
So for me, I kind of like the fact that you can see exactly how much is in there. I don't know. I just think it's neat that you can see it. But $7.99, Harbor Freight, you can't beat it. You don't need much more than this. Like unless you're doing like heavy duty airbrush painting, like literally this is perfect. $7.99, I think on sale. I'll put all the prices on it uh, and they always have coupons. Next is airbrush cleaning brushes right here. There's just little metal brushes to go inside and clean your airbrush. It is very important that you are constantly cleaning your airbrush. I will show you guys my airbrush setup later on. Uh, I'll actually talk about it. I'm not somebody who goes for fancy airbrushes. I'm sure it would probably make my life easier, but my whole entire life I've always gone with cheap airbrushes and paints and it's what I know best. So I will input where I got my airbrush and everything like that when I make a video on it later. But it's very important that no matter what airbrush you have, you take care of it. <laughs> so that is why I got these. What I was previously using was just a couple of hand paint brushes that were kind of messed up. So I use those anyway. So if you don't want to get these, these were literally, I think like $2.99, uh, like, uh, like why not? Then uh, I got an airbrush holder. Okay, so my airbrush comes with a holder on top of it, um, but I broke it. So literally these little pieces right here, they will hold your airbrush. So if you have two airbrushes or you want to change different kind of airbrushes, that is what this is for. Um, but I just needed something to put inside to make it easier so that when I'm airbrushing I don't just airbrush and then I have to move it all the way and put it on the actual compressor This I'm gonna put actually inside my paint booth So I'll be able to put the airbrush inside there. So this one's important again I will put the prices up on the screen. It was super cheap uh, I don't think it was a lot at all, but like you don't need anything crazy matter of fact you should be able, it comes with little suction cups so that it doesn't move. Very important. Uh, I just like the idea of having a holder closer when I'm actually airbrushing rather than having it on the compressor, which for my setup, literally, here's my booth. I'd have to put it all the way across over my body to put it over there because I'm right-handed. So this one I'm super excited for. And then I got another weird little thing. This is just a little, metal brush and I got this because it was on sale for $1.99 and I am going to use this for weathering um, and I will show you guys how I do that in a future video. Oh, I also almost forgot, um, in addition to just having things for your airbrush, Harbor Freight also has a bunch of X-Acto knives, it has a bunch of files for really, really cheap um, and you know what, at the end of the day, like, when something has hobby on the name, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. So it's good to just go to Harbor Freight. You can go and look. They have things like utility cabinets, uh, organizers, just things that are functional, but not expensive, not overpriced with the hobby name or anything like that. So I really, really, truly do suggest going to Harbor Freight having a little bit more open up in, of a mind. You can find stuff for Dremels. I use Dremels a lot. You can find things that you can scribe with, just things that are exponentially cheaper than going into any hobby store and it all works the same. So if you guys wanna know a little bit more about some of the other things that you can find at Harbor Freight, um, let me know if you have any questions about X-Acto knives or anything like that. I will put the website to Harbor Freight so you guys can at least check it out. And if you don't have a Harbor Freight, I'm so sorry. It's literally like a playground for me. But yeah, I forgot to, I forgot to add that because I just think it's really important that you save money in this hobby where you can. They actually also have air compressors and airbrushes. I don't really suggest their actual airbrush, but they do have uh, a compressor that's fairly affordable. It's no different than ones you can get on Amazon or anything like that, um, but it's just as good or just as effective as any of the more expensive ones, especially if you're just starting out. I hope this helps you out, but yeah. Goggles, mask, anything that you would need for the hobby, gloves, literally everything is at Harbor Freight for a very good price and they're constantly running ads, they're constantly having coupons and if I could be sponsored by Harbor Freight, I would be so excited. <laughs> All right guys, <laughs> thank you. I just thought I would add that. I just thought that it would help. <laughs> So anyways, that is it for the video today. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Let me know if you guys go to a Harbor Freight and you find all these tools, it's literally so cheap. I think all of these are worth it. And if you play Warhammer, of course, this is worth it too. But all of it's worth it. It's worth to get if you do airbrushing a lot and just make sure you take care of your airbrush. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Mobile Suit Miss Day 7. And I'm so excited to get started on this project. And let me know if you guys also use an airbrush cleaner which
which one do you use? I know that there's a bunch of really cool fancy ones, but we go budget on this channel. We go budget. Yes, uh, let me know what you guys think. What are some of your favorite tools? Um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow! Before it's dried, it will dry fairly fast. Um, I'm outside. So it will dry really, really fast. So you want to go ahead and take something that's not going to leave a lot of residue on it. I choose a paper towel that I keep handy and I just wipe it off. I make sure all the paint gets out of the crevices so that you have a clear uh, surface to work with. That's very, very important. You can see a lot of stuff is flying around in the background. That's just what happens when you work outside. So just be careful. You don't need a fancy paint booth. There's no reason to spend a bunch of money for a fancy paint booth, especially if you're just starting out. Just take your piece and put it back on its alligator clip and reapproach it and it should be fine. Just make sure that you're doing light coats and not going super crazy and you can always go back later and do another coat. And uh, just make sure that you keep all your detail. What you see here is after two coats of primer, I set everything in my foam block and I leave it to the side. I generally bring them inside. Um, it's humid enough to where it, it will dry fast enough that nothing will get on it. And I am in an enclosed room. But as you can see, you can see the light gray color, um, which I'm using for my actual paint scheme. So it'll look really, really nice. Um, you will have overspray, so you might want to wear gloves. I don't, obviously. Uh, your hand's going to end up looking like a rock depending upon the color of your primer. This is what your booth is going to look like or your makeshift booth. That's why it doesn't matter that it's a cardboard box.